Now we are going to be testing the is number of characters within range method. So we start with its statement again. Should return true for a number of characters between 2 and 50. False otherwise. And then function. Semicolon after all this. And we start with the scope item equals and we start with two characters and then expect and we go for the scope and the method is number of characters within range to be truthy so that should be true then scope item equals and we're gonna go for 50 characters now so i'm just going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine and zero giving us 10 Let's copy, and we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And precisely same expect statement. So we just copy this underneath, because that also should be true, because 50 is within range. This is the maximum number of characters we can have. And let's copy this entire two lines. Now, a scope item will leave just one character, and 2B falsy this time and if we copy this actually let's copy this scope item with the 50 characters because now we're going to create 51 characters and it should also expect number of characters to be falsy let's add another character here to make it 51 and that's uh, our test to check uh, there is number of characters within range. If we now save it and preview it in the browser, if we refresh, you can see this one is also uh, succeeding. So if we go back to the uh, to our editor, if we remove one character from this uh, last item, it should be true rather than false. So that should return, obviously, uh, the problem. Uh, it should fail. The test should fail. And it, fair enough, it does fail. Expect it true to be false. So if we go back, add this extra character, and everything uh, is going to be succeeding within this test, obviously, as long as our uh, method is number of characters within range won't change uh, anything inside that actually performs some different calculations, or our constants won't change, obviously, the minimum and maximum uh, values associated with it. So that's our should return true for a number of characters between 2 and 50. Uh, test. The next test we're going to be doing, if we create a few new lines here, and the next one will be it. Should return true for number of characters uh, more than 50. False otherwise. And then comma, function. And obviously, you may have already guessed what method we're going to be testing here. It's uh, any characters over. So scope item equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0, which gives us 10. Let's just copy this. And then uh, 20, 30, 40, 50. And let's add one character, giving us 51. And now expect, and we're going for the scope dot any characters over to be truthy basically to be true because obviously we've got 51 and any characters over will tell us that 51 is over 50 which is basically associated with our maximum characters uh, constant and let's copy these two lines now and rather than 51 we're going to reduce it to just 50 and check if it's falsy so remove this extra character, making it uh, 50 altogether. And now any characters over should be falsy. So false should be, uh, to be falsy. And if we now save it and preview our test in a browser, refresh the page, and fair enough, obviously everything's succeeding. So if we go back to our editor, uh, we go for another test. This time we're going to be checking the good to go method, which is basically checking all of the necessary methods to make sure that we can add the new record to the database. So it should return true if all properties 
are properly filled in. Function semicolon at the end, and we go for this scope item equals bananas, then scope uh, quantity, let's set it to one, and scope type set it to two meaning we've got everything that we need in order to add the record. So now if I just scroll up a little bit, expect statement, uh, scope and the method good to go to be truthy, to return true, because obviously we've got all of the items that we need in order to add the record to the database. So that's this good to go uh, method. Also test it now. If we, uh, I think it's time to move to the next video.